So you say it's the fastest monohull boat um, on the world, I think. I think once an 18 sailor, always an 18 sailor. There's people that have hurt themselves and even you know drowned and stuff, getting caught under rigs. So. And things can really go wrong if you do things incorrectly. They're just unbelievably fun. Once you're going downwind, just launched three on the wire, airborne, there's no other, no other feeling like it. Foiling boats don't quite have the same feeling. Done a lot of foiling, but these just, I come back every time for that airborne feeling that's not assisted. You're being pulled by the sails, not by the foils. And uh, once you're in the air, there's not a lot you can do, but hang on. The great dynamic of the 18-foot skiff is that it's a three-man team. All three people, uh, I can't just say men these days, there'll be quite a few women in the class, and all three crew members have to work together, and I, I believe the class is quite unique with that. Now, a lot of classes, uh, it's a teamwork environment, and everyone works together, but everyone has to move as one in an 80-foot skiff. If you don't have that coordination and belief with each other, uh, things can go wrong badly and uh, lead to not just a spectacular capsize, but also a very painful capsize. Yeah, there is a potential to get quite hurt in these boats, uh, the whisker wires in particular and landing on the rigging. So yeah, it's very much a case of trusting each other and working well with each other. And once that all clicks, uh, you find that they are just the most beautiful boat to sail. Yeah, so we have in every regatta we have some people who hurt themselves. So, for example, last year we had um, one of the Australian boats just crashed pretty hard and one guy just ripped his face open. But, yeah, that's the sport. It's all about communication, it's trying to keep the same crew together and working together because you know one person makes a slight mistake, if the other person can't back them up then disaster happens and, and we're talking disasters. You know, If it's windy you can have broken arms, ribs, all sorts of incidents we've had in the class over 20 years so they're very rewarding, really really incredibly fast but when it goes wrong, if you, if you don't respect the boat it goes wrong very quickly and it can hurt. Boats are actually with two rigs. Uh, number one rig is the biggest one where you have a approximately over 100 square meters of sails. To the little rig where you have a, around 20 square meters less. And uh, this is 
to have be handled from yeah you can use it from 16 knots and upwards uh, up to the max of of 25 which is the upper level the level of what we sail in I'm sort of the elder guy in the class these days, but still loving it a lot. It's still the most competitive class I've ever sailed, and it's still the most friendly class I've ever sailed, which uh, you'd think for all the testosterone flying around that it could be the opportunity for people to get quite aggressive with each other, but it's not the way. It's very much been a class of live and let live on the water and then help each other off the water. They're crazy. They're fun. Uh, I think that's what draws us all into it. I don't think you can do this and leave. <laughs> The whole atmosphere around the class is super fantastic. Everyone is so friendly and I think here it's, it's not so much about winning. Of course, everyone wants to win, but I mean, when we come ashore, we all have a great time and we're very relaxed and can go to the bar and have a drink afterwards. It's fantastic. Oh yeah, there are um, lots of different people, um, basically crazy people. So we have some people are in the class for ages, for I don't know, 20 years or something. And now lots of young people coming in and lots of young, strong, really good sailors. All the sailors, you know, even all the, the Germans and the Hungarians and the, the British teams, mate, we, we all have a good sort of camaraderie, I think, on the, on the water. And, yeah, on and off the water, I should say, because you know we all catch up after and have a have a drink, and you know we try and pass on a bit of information to them to help them out, and you know vice versa. So, so the the 18th is a different class. You know, it's not uh, from your Olympic sailing path. So you've got people who generally just want to be here because it's fun, not because there's a reward at the end of the day. And I think that leads to a lot more after sailing activities, right? Everyone's at dinner together, we're sharing tips on the day, stories, who had the biggest crash, you know, who won, what shift did they pick? And the sharing leads to the whole fleet sort of being at a very similar level, meaning that the racing is very close. People are prepared to share uh, crew as well, you know, depending on uh, what happens. And that means that all the boats are learning the same things and improving gradually together. Uh, yeah, the sailors, um, we have a, an interesting dynamic, really. Everyone's really friendly, and um, yeah, it's a bit of a tight group, really, I suppose. But um, we have a lot of newcomers and then a lot of people coming and going. But um, yeah, you've got to have a sort of a slight element of craziness about you, I think, to jump in these boats.
The fleet here is uh, a 21 boat fleet uh, from most of countries of Europe and also uh, eight boats from uh, Australia. And they invented 18 foot skiff sailing, so uh, they're really good. Uh, we have one team from Hungary doing a lot of a good competition. They are in second place at the moment. And uh, yeah. The Aussies come up here basically because it's a really nice place to stay. We have always good wind here and it's a beautiful scenery. You see the mountains, you see the blue sky, you see the blue water. Everything is perfect here. It's, it's probably one of the best places to sail in the world. I mean, there's the Sydney Harbour, we've sailed the skiffs on, the San Francisco, beautiful place to sail, but this place is pretty special as well. There's the, the cliffs uh, and the aura. So every day the wind blows from north to south in the morning and then it swaps around from south to north in the afternoon. And the lake is just a brilliant place to sail. I mean, there's not a lot of traffic. You get a lot of wind surfers, but it's not like Sydney Harbour where you've got ferries because no motorboats are allowed up at this end except for rescue boats. And you just get some of the most awesome rides you've ever had in a skiff on this, on this lake. And, you know, if you're having a bad day, all you have to do is look around at the scenery you're in and it cheers you up. It's just incredible. definitely the premier class in my mind for club racing as well as going to venues like this where we can just all hang out at the beach for a week and do some of the most glamorous sailing you can possibly do. You know, three stringy in a super consistent breeze, um, flat water relatively. <laughs> reasons why people sail in Lake Garda. I think basically every fleet tries to descend on this place. Uh, we're really lucky. We have an excellent relationship with Arco, the sailing club here, and it's just a fantastic spot to launch and sail the boats. And um, we get breeze every day. So most of the time we're on the small rigs and um, yeah, having really good racing in just one of the best locations in Europe. How is, how is it to sail in Lake Garda? It's great fun. It's, if the weather is good like today, um, it's 100% chance of good wind, good waves. Um, we have these amazing views, um, amazing place to sail with. We have these walls on both sides that make just the wind even faster and even kind of more exciting to sail on. And then um, on land, it's 
just this perfect place to be because we have this amazing spot where we can put the boats on and we have um, of course great pizza, great wine and great people to hang out with. come to sail on Lake Gardaf because it's one of the best places in the world to sail. Uh, it's windy after uh, the afternoon, it's very windy and uh, the weather is good and uh, you cannot get it better. I think people stay involved in the 18 fleet for um, the friendships, the good rides. I mean, we came to Garda to get 25 knots and some sweet rides downwind, and once you do that, you're, you're always searching for it. You're always going to keep wanting that. <laughs> There's nothing like it. <laughs> This is a, actually a really good uh, place for skiff sailing, so that, that's the reason. And I just spoke to a couple of guys yesterday, and they said I'll definitely come back next year if the event will be here in in Arco. Yeah, it's always good. We have a pretty good group. Um, we help each other and we try to get better together, which, which is amazing. And then we have um, still this really competitive side. So we all in the water, we tr try to fight for every meter and um, for every boat. So um, that's really amazing.
As far as the, the fear factor that goes with sailing an 18-foot skiff, I recall again harking back to my son when he was an eight-year-old and we scooped him up in the middle of the harbour. I remember my son at the time saying, hey, Dad, I'm really, really scared. And I said, that's what makes it so good. <laughs> so... It is just getting past. There is a little bit of fear factor, but it's the same as uh, downhill skiing, I suppose. You, know, you get to the top of that black run and you concentrate to get to the bottom. You actually are scared going down, but when you get to the bottom, you go, wow, how good was that? And I think only for skiff sailing is very much like that. That little nuance of fear that's always there, it doesn't matter how long you've been in the class, is still what makes it incredibly exciting. People are a little bit crazy, but they love the sport so much that uh, they'll be here every time. Young and old and uh, everything here. Totally eight of my crew is 153 years old together. So we are quite old, but we're still enjoying it. Eighteens are definitely the most fun class I've ever sailed. I've been through a few classes now. They're the jumpiest of all the boats that I've, I've driven, and just launching off a wave is definitely what makes them awesome. Probably uh, sailing 18s on Lake Garda is probably about one of the best things you can do. If you're a sailor and you've not done this event, you've got to do it in your life, tick it off and get down here.